What's going on guys? It's Simon from SG and today we're going to learn how to create phone orders in WooCommerce or create manual orders. So I have this customer, he's always calling in. He's like, hey, can you order this for me? Even though we have an account set up for him on his store, he is one of my wholesale clients. So I just kind of let him call in. So how do I do this in WooCommerce? How do I add phone orders? So the first step is to go to your WordPress dashboard. Next, let's go to WooCommerce and let's click orders. Then I'm gonna click add order. Okay, and I am going to toggle this, this customer down and I'm gonna find him. I just have his name as um, John Doe, or it's demo. Cool, here he is right here. So he already has a billing address and a shipping address. So I type in the customer, his billing address and shipping address shows up. If I wanna modify this, I can for the specific order. So I have my customer loaded. Now I need to add the products. He's telling me he wants you know five um, men's pullovers, five women's pullovers. So then I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna to go to this add items. And I'm gonna add the product. So pull over. He wants five women's of these. And he also wants five men's of these. Sweet, so I'm gonna add this, add this product. And you see they added the products and I'm also gonna add shipping. And this is where it kinda gets tricky. Um, if you have like flat rates, you can apply those or you could um, give them free shipping if they're order a certain fresh threshold. Um, in our case, we just do a $10 flat fee for shipping. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna click save. Sweet. So if there's any, if like you want to apply a coupon, you can apply a coupon. If you want to apply, you know, just any other fees, you can. But so I have my order, I added my products, and I added the shipping fee. Now it's time to email the customer the order. So I could either do this. I could um, tell them the pay, um, what like payment method they wanted to do. So right now we have net terms and credit card. I am just gonna email them the invoice and they can pay for the order. So it's pending payment, the status, and I'm just gonna go here and I'm gonna click email invoice order details to the customer. So I'm gonna go create. And now the customer has been emailed the invoice. So now if I just go real quick, I'm, I'm just gonna go and open up um, this customer's email account. This is just a test order for this tutorial, but if I go to this customer's account, you see I got this, and this is the demo at SG Web Partners, so this is just the, the customer's demo account. So this is the email they would see, and um, if I sign in, So now I'm gonna be asked to sign in. They see this, they see the link to pay for their order. And I'm this customer and I'm gonna sign in. Sweet, and now the customer can choose if they wanna pay by net terms or credit card. And they're gonna choose credit card and they're gonna choose pay for this order. Sweet, customer has paid for the order. Um, so we did this manually by adding an order in the WordPress dashboard or WooCommerce orders dashboard. There's actually another method you could do with customers that have payment methods on file and you can kind of simulate a, the checkout process without doing this manually. So let's go back to um, the WordPress dashboard, and I can install this plugin called the user switching plugin. So I'm just gonna go to this plugin. Let's 
let's go users switching. So I have this plugin, but I'm just going to deactivate it. And if you come down, I'm just going to reactivate it just to show you guys. It's the, it's called user switching. And this is the plugin author. So I'm just going to reactivate this plugin. And now I'm going to go to my users after activating the user switching plugin. This is a public plugin. It's free. I'll put it below in the bio for you guys to check out. So we go to my users now. And I'm going to go to my customers. And now if I click the switch to, I will be switching to this customer. Okay. And you see I have payment methods in the account. Um, but if I just go to, let's say I go to uh, my customer and, I, and he wants to make this order, I could now go down and I could check out as the customer. So let's say I want to order this now. Let's say I want to get, you know, five of these and five of these. Let's add these to the cart. Sweet. And these are just from my cookies from last time. But let's just take these out. Sweet. So I have this and I'm going to continue the checkout. And I'm going to use this. And I'm going to complete. And now the customer can choose. They have this payment method on file already. So whether the customer is going to like call in their credit card when you're on the phone, or you're trying to create a manual order, the user switcher switching plugin is very beneficial to do this. If they already have payment methods on file, you can use their current payment method to process an order. In this case, I'm just going to add or use a new payment method and And I'm going to save their card for next time. And I'm going to submit the order. Oh, got to put in the post number. Sweet. So once again, order has been submitted. If I go back to my email for that demo at SG Web Partners, I can see the order emails. I could have turned those off, but as you can see, the customer, you could simulate checking out as the customer and being them as the customer when you're trying to create an order. Very valuable if you have a lot of customers that are calling in their orders and you want to simulate their account to create an order. So that's how you create WooCommerce phone orders and manual orders in WooCommerce. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments. I also put the user switching plugin in the bio below. This is a free plugin. Now, if you guys like this tutorial, make sure to hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.